Welcome to everyone joining us to experience stories of resilience, hope, perseverance, and joy. Move over to a sport chair, a basketball wheelchair. Category of best video are. We love you guys. Hey, hey, you're watching America Trends. I'm Mary Burke Godwin, and we love to celebrate teen entrepreneurs on this show. Uh, we discovered a whole bevy of teen entrepreneurs through a friend of mine named Sarah Hernholm, who runs Whatever It Takes, WIT, doing WIT is for short. And uh, this next guest, Anshul Gupta, he is a teen entrepreneur from the Bay Area of California. He is the co-founder and co-president of Awesome, and they are an awesome website that I, they help children with special needs at home therapies with families with special needs. And this is an incredible, incredible thing that they do, bringing the digital, bridging the digital and physical worlds with at home therapy, one kit at a time. Welcome to America Trends, Anshul. So nice to have you here. Thank you so much for having me. I'm really, really impressed. All of the, the teams that I meet uh, through WIT, um, so impressive and what you're doing is just so impressive to me. I wanted to hear how you got started with this mission. You have a, a partner, right, in Awesome? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Isabella and I are both co-presidents. Um, we're both from the Bay Area and we both have our own inspiration for creating Awesome. So I personally uh, use, uh, I actually still teach neurodivergent individuals uh, from organizations like Friends of Children with Special Needs and Best Buddies. And I also used to receive speech therapy for my stammer growing up. And then by getting those experiences, I was able to realize the inaccessibility of therapy um, for neurodivergent individuals, especially children with autism. And Isabella also has her own um, wide array of experiences. She actually used to intern at a hospital where she learned about um, the inaccessibility of therapy over there. She learned about how therapy is conducted and wanted to help, you know, make it more accessible. Well, you know, with this day and age, with the interwebs and, and so much information at our fingertips, I think this is a brilliant way because you probably you found a need, you found a, a niche for yourself and, and a need out there and you just went for it. And I love that you did that. Now, did you have this idea when you were connected to WIT? Did you come to Sarah with this idea and you already knew you were going to be doing this? Yeah, for sure. So um, we're actually competing in a competition called South by Southwest. And then from there, we, we were able to get connected with uh, Miss H. And she really did help us, you know, get the word out there. Like this interview wouldn't be possible because of WIT and Miss H. Miss H, I love that you guys call her that. Yeah, and um, I she when she was on the show last, she actually talked about South by South, Southwest EDU, which is next month. Is that correct? Is it in February? Oh, it's actually in March. I believe it's March 9th. Oh, okay, great. Yeah, I, actually, I'm trying to get her to do a show live from there when she's there. So are you going to be there competing there with this, this company? Or I'm not sure how that works. Yeah, so currently leading up to the competition, we're going to get coverage from WIT to, you know, get the word out there. Then on March 9th, we're going to go to South by Southwest live in Austin and compete against other finalists to, you know, he nominated the winner. That's amazing. Now, um, can you tell me how, number one, how families find out about you? And then, you know, once they come to you, if, if there's a family and they have a, a child, uh, neurodivergent, is that what you called it? Yeah, neurodiverse, neurodivergent. Yep. It's a whole so, concept of people with different cognitive abilities. Yeah, because there's there's a spectrum, there's a continuum um, of people with different varying needs, right? So they would come to you and to your website. And is it a program they signed up for? Or talk me through how that works. Yeah, so uh, we, we distributed over 200 therapy kits in uh, 2021 alone. And then uh, how it works is that we reach out to parents from different news stations, from our connections in like the neurodiverse community. And then by that, they could sign up for a kit 
and order their kit if they could afford the cost for the kit they could also pay and we actually had a a funding campaign that got us almost two thousand dollars from these kits alone and what is in the kits i mean i saw in that picture of um your business partner and i'm forgetting her name already isabella, isabella. yeah <laughs> um i saw you know a, a lot of colorful toys on the in the picture with her was that part of what goes into the kit yeah, for sure. So we actually wanted to design these kits to actually help with therapy at home. So how it worked is that um, we work with therapists and professors from different universities like Brown, Stanford, et cetera. And then by working with them, we found these clinically proven activities, for instance, like a clothes spin that helps with the pinching exercise. Uh, there are pressure brushes to help with uh, texture and um, how things feel. And then by working with these therapists, be able to des like design and find these therapeutic activities that we keep in the kit. And how did you, that's amazing. And so you put these together and then whoever signs up, you deliver them. Do you deliver them personally or you ship them depending on where they are, I guess? Yeah, so uh, we ship them across the states currently. Wow, okay. And Tell me about your um, your funding for this. You know, when you thought of the idea, do you have to work on getting startup money, or how did that whole work, that whole process work? Yeah, for sure. So when we made our MVP or minimally viable product, we actually uh, started a fundraising campaign on GoFundMe, and then uh, by getting that money in, we were able to you know create awesome into an actual LLC. Uh, we were able to reach out to. Um, I guess, different parents, and also really get the funding to make our kits. That's great. And how, what, what do you foresee in the future for you guys? Like, what is your next step? Yeah, so we actually have a, a lot of different goals involving expanding. So we actually have parents reaching out to us from Canada and the UAE, and we want to really expand Awesome internationally, and we also want to expand our team to help make kits and design kits. And do you guys have um, an app or is it just a website? Not just, but yeah, is so it a website and an app? Just, yeah, so currently it's just a website. We're making an e-learning platform as well. And we also designed an application that uh, parent that we're getting, I guess, in development right now. And that can help with, you know, different videos, like to help with parent implementation interventions, as well as games and other activities. Wow, that's amazing. And you are just a junior in high school, is that correct? Yeah, I actually created this um, my freshman summer with Isabella and a few other team members um, at a summer program way back. Yeah, it was like June 2020. Wow. So I guess from there we grew. That is very, very impressive. And what are your thoughts for you, you know, moving forward? Are you looking, I mean, you'll be doing college applications next year, I guess, right? Do you have your, your eyes set on a specific school? Yeah, I haven't already thought too much about college apps. I do want to stay in, you know, the West Coast because, you know, California weather is great. I want to stay close to home, yeah. but I haven't thought too much about college yet. And who are some of your, your parents must be exceptional people because they've raised an exceptional son. And uh, who are some of your heroes or people that you look up to? Honestly, my teammate Isabella, my parents, and I guess just like people older than me that have really guided me to where I am today. And do you, uh, do you and Isabella ever fight? <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, not necessarily fight, but I will admit that when developing Awesome and still to this date, we might have a few disagreements with how to proceed, but I guess that's the experience of, you know, working on a company. Yeah, I mean, you're learning skill sets at a very young age, not only to start this business um, and reaching out to communities and seeing, you know, a niche and then filling it, but also having to have interpersonal skills to work with a, a partner and a co-founder because a lot of people just go into business on their own because they don't want to deal with other people <laughs> so so yeah. you're learning a very exceptional uh, difficult lesson i think in probably working with that with with her and you know finding ways to give and take with a partner mm -hmm, for sure i think that definitely collaborating with the team is like a lifelong skill to have as well as you know collaborating with parents and other team members that help with other components of you know, our website and our product for making a blog to help with outreach. So I think definitely working with the team is a good life skill to have in general. And what is your um, Instagram or do you do a lot of social media outreach and marketing for your for your business? Yeah, so we actually do have an Instagram. It's just the same thing as your website at awesome.co, um, A-U-E-S-O-M-E dot C-O. And there we post, you know, our updates 
Um, we get people that reach out to us that want to get our kits or want to join our team as well as our blog. That's amazing. Well, I'm really, really impressed. I wish you the best of luck and good luck in South by Southwest. We want to have you back to talk about how it goes. Maybe when Sarah logs in, you can log in and, and chime in from out there. And best of luck to you. I appreciate you sticking with us today and chatting with us. And everyone at home, stick around. We've got another segment with our producer, Molly Levy, who's here to talk about some more pop culture movies that came out last month. So stick around, everyone at home. We'll see you in a minute.